Hey guys, welcome to TGS Air with me, Johnny. Today we're going to be having a look at this, the Webley Mark I air pistol. This particular one is post-war, meaning it is 1935 to 1964. The straight grip model goes from 1924 to 1935, and we might get our hands on one of those in the future, but we're going to start with this. So this box is more or less at least 60 years old, but potentially quite a bit older. It's seen better times, but we'll move on. As you can see, we've got the blue top, the Webley air pistol, Mark I model, Webley and Scott Birmingham, air pistol Mark I Webley, not to be sold to anybody under 18, under 17. Let's put that, that was put on slightly later. We'll put that there. As you can see, the box has seen better days. This particular one comes with two barrels. As you'll see, this one's got the knurled back end to it. It also indicates post-war if the slanted grips do not. Here it is, the Webley and Scott Mark I. We're gonna have just a good look over it. So we'll start with the slanted grip. The actual grips are black Bakelite, checkered with Webley, inlaid on the side there. Actually really nice, really very nice. You'll see a lot of these are cracked. A lot of the time people over tighten these little screws that actually retain them on the side, and that's not particularly good. The metal around it is completely smooth. We'll move on to the trigger. The trigger is silver metal with the adjuster in the front that actually adjusts the engagement. The cylinder has Webley and Scott Birmingham 4 with Webley patents on the side. And on the other side, Webley & Scott Mark I, made in England. It also says oil with a little hole. That hole is accessed by pulling this up, which also, coincidentally, releases the barrel. You pull that back, and that comes up. This pistol is cocked as an overlever, so you pull it up and over, and this arm here drags the piston to the rear. You pull the trigger, the piston pushes the air, the air comes up through there, and out the hole through the barrel. This particular one comes with two caliber barrels, which isn't uncommon. This is a 177 and this is a 22. These are changed by removing this screw here, that pulls up, that drops in. Quite simple, really. The rear sight is adjustable on these, although the foresight is clearly not. The foresight is connected to the barrel. The rear sight is adjustable via this screw here. This can move up, down, and does have a little bit of left and right play as well. Whatever happens, do not remove this. And in fact, it does say not to be removed on the back there. Just don't remove it, it's unnecessary. We might do a strip on these at one point in the future, but we won't take that out because you do not need to, if not, cannot. The thing feels great in the hand, and they are really a joy to shoot. So here's the downside. Although the barrels are actually rifled on a Mark I, they just were neither powerful nor accurate. However, it doesn't stop them being great fun to use, and shoving little darts in them and shooting a dartboard is probably one of the best fun I've ever had. Before we go any further, let's take this over to the range and see how we get on. So we just set up the chronograph, Let's put some shots through it, see what it's pushing. Oh, feels good. I know enough to know that, that probably means that it's not. New group. Pull it in. Oh yes. Now we're talking. 1.3 foot pounds, 192 feet per second. Obviously the 177 barrel would give us a bit more potency. So we just put a bit of oil in the oil hole. And this gun hasn't actually been shot or serviced for a little while. Ah, it is due one for sure. And the more we shoot it, with a little bit of oil, we're going up and up and up. So we're almost at the end of our 10 shot group, and we've gone from 1.4 foot pounds to 1.82, just goes to show that actually you can blow cobwebs out of stuff. And we seem to have settled down at around somewhere between 175 and 185 foot pounds. And these things rarely go over about two. 1.71. 1.74. So actually our average here is 215.1. That works out about 165 foot pounds. But that includes our early ones when we were kind of still warming the old girl up. Let's shoot it at some paper, see how accurate it is. For a pistol with no power, it actually has a relatively slow lock time, hence a little bit of kick. But it's just a pleasure to be playing with a piece of history. You guys have probably guessed by now, but I get a real kick out of old air pistols for no reason that I can explain. Oh 
I just find there's something very comforting that previous generations will have played with this pistol and got so much enjoyment out of it and that as amazingly accurate as modern day pistols can be you can actually attain the same fun out of this there's something quite innocent about it and I think that that is what is nice about the old version of pistols be it the junior, the senior or the mark one You know, they say you should train to shoot you know, under a little bit of stress because in reality you get, your adrenaline will be up, your heart rate will be up when you're hunting. Amazing how a text just coming and put me off that shot. Not that I have no idea how this group's going whatsoever. Alright. Gun safe, I'm gonna go get the target. So there's the gun, and there is the result. It's a little bit easier for you to see from the back there. That's not a great group, but you're not shooting this for accuracy, you're shooting this for fun. Like I said, buy a dartboard, buy the darts, and have some fun. The day that you can pull this group in is the day to be really happy. Obviously they shoot a little bit more accurately, accurately than this when they've been serviced, a new spring, new seals, and actually get it running right, but they were never a top-notch target pistol. As much as we get plenty of old boys come in and say, I used to head shoot rats at 20 yards, one of those, they were powerful and amazing. I mean, maybe that was true, but I wasn't there, and I don't really believe it. I think next time I'm gonna bring an actual target, a pistol in here, and show you guys that I can actually shoot one of these. So thank you very much for watching. I certainly hope you've enjoyed this little mini review on the Webley Mark I. A beautiful piece of history, a pleasure to shoot. What more could you possibly want from an air pistol? Hi guys, welcome to the gun shop.